it's Terry Carr, and you are inside DHA's Box of Rock, where we get you up close and personal with your favorite rockers. This week, I catch up with one of rock's great frontmen, Jacoby Shaddix of Papa Roach. We talk about the Papa Roach record, his throat surgery, and his love of animals and involvement in animal rescue. So we are inside the Box of Rock with one of rock's great front men of all time. I am here with Jacoby Shaddix. I am so happy to be talking to you today. Well, thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Glad Absolutely. To be here. Um, first of all, The Connection, amazing, amazing record for you guys. Definitely a uh, to-the-next-level record for you guys. Um, is this the, po- the perfect Papa Roach record? I, you know, I love this record. I don't know if there's ever going to be a perfect Papa Roach record, but... You know, it really feels like this was a labor of love, a lot of pain, personal pain went into making this record. And, uh, you know, I came out the other side and I just feel like it's all things great Papa Roach. I will say that about it. You know, we incorporated some of the old school sounds with some of the rap and the, the metal, but then we also brought in some of these electronic elements to the band as well. And so, you know, we never wanted those elements to overshadow the rockness of Papa Roach. But uh, I really feel this is a strong, strong, strong record. I encourage Pop Roach fans out there to get it. It's dope. Okay, so we make this great record. I mean, the band is so stoked about it. And then all of a sudden, you're singing these songs, and boom, you got to have the throat surgery. Oh, yeah. Dude, that had to be so hard because you're on such a high. And then all of a sudden, I mean, being a singer and not really knowing exactly where it's going to go, what was that like for you? That was terrifying. Utterly terrifying. But, you know, I went and got hooked up with the right doctor, um, got hooked up with the right vocal therapist, vocal coach, and uh, recovered. I got full recovery. My voice is 100%. It's actually, like, more consistent than it used to be, you know, especially working with this new coach. She's out of New York here. Her name is Melissa Cross. Um, and she just she showed me the way. And uh, I live a new discipline in my lifestyle. Well, that's what I was going to ask you, too. Did you have to really, you probably had to change things around a little bit. I mean, you know, it's just like, uh, it's no secret that I have substance abuse issues, you know what I'm saying? But I'm sobered up. I'm almost a year clean now, you know? And like, so that's a, that's a big part of it, you know? Helping me maintain, like, being more of a consistent human being and having more discipline in my life. You know, I mean, it sounds weird coming from a rock and roller, but it's like, it's important for me to get on that stage and do what we do best, and that's perform and play live rock and roll. And uh, that was taken from me. And so I was willing to do anything. You know, I was willing to go to any length to get that back. And so, you know, now that I have my voice back and, you know, my life is like on a path, I feel I feel great. You know, I feel like, man, it's been so long. I wish I would have done this a long time ago. Well, Papa Roach isn't just like a band. You guys are now considered really one of the best live bands around you're considered one of the best uh front men out there i mean no no, no pressure of course but you would imagine that you get you move on to the next chapter of, of life and you say well you know this is something that i'm still able to do why not look at it in a different light so what is it like being viewed as that and having the live shows the live shows are obviously hugely important to the band i mean you know there's a certain amount of pressure to it but then it's also you know i know that we have a gift you know what i'm saying like I, this is something that i just like like oh god thanks man like you blessed me with this i want to take care of it you know and uh you know for us it's like we love getting on stage you know i think it's it's just something that's in me you know and i just i feel it and i want to get up there and just do what we do best and that's just rip it you know and and i think that i guess having a title of being one of the best (laughs) i'll take it Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now, you and I share something in common, too, which I love. You and your wife are very into animal oh, yeah. rescue. You guys love dogs. You have a pit bull. Tell me a little bit about how that, how that has enriched your family life. You guys have been together a, a long time. You and your wife probably about 15 years or so. Yeah. Um, how has that enriched the outside of Papa Roach's life? Well, I mean, you know, at home, my wife's crazy animal lover. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, And, and I've, I've been part of that, you know, over the years. And... You know, we rescued this dog. Her name's Ruka. She was beat up, like, really bad. She had the mama dog titties hanging, scraping on the ground, and, like, malnourished. Half of her hair was gone. And so we rescued her and nursed her back to health, and she's such a great dog. Um, But then we also, we've been doing uh, cat rescue for a while now. And uh, we currently have, like, a a Siamese cat. She's pregnant with uh, six little babies in her. And uh, she was actually really sick, so we had to nurse her back to health. And she's good. And uh, so we just like, we like to get the pregnant cats because then we'll get the little teeny cats and like my kids will go out there and socialize them so they're really good. You know, so when people come over and they're like, you want, you want to see these cats, it's not like they're like, 
You know what I'm saying? They're like they're they're they're, they're highly also. socialized, adoptable animals. That's yeah. awesome. I just love that. So does it feel like the band has been together? What is it like coming up on 20 years? Maybe 14 since the first single. Yeah. Does it feel like that? Uh, you know, it, it, it's gone by in a blink of an eye. You know, but then I think back, and it's this is our 20 year anniversary this year um, since uh, we started Papa Roach, and uh, it's been a, it's been a roller coaster ride, um, but. What else do I got? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like rock and roll, it's my co- it's my calling. It's like I really music. believe it's my calling. So I get out there and do it, you know, and I just try to, you know, make music that people love and make music that I love first and foremost. We are so happy that you're back. Thanks so much for yeah. sitting down with me today. I so appreciate it. Have a great show, man. And uh, Jacoby in the Box of Rock. Love Jacoby. Super fun guy. Doing great. Great work with his wife and family to help homeless animals. Check out their amazing new record, The Connection. Papa Roach, one of the great live bands of all time. Hey, in the uh, upcoming weeks inside the Box of Rock, I've got Corey Taylor. I've got Tom Kiefer from Cinderella and a lot of amazing surprises. So make sure you stay tuned right here to WDHAFM.com. For DHA's Box of Rock, I am Terry Carr. I'll see you tomorrow at 10.